Do you want to turn yourself into an anime character? <laughs> Me too. I have no idea how. But I do know how to make speed lines. I don't have a good translation, so let's just go. All right, guys, to start off, we're going to be on our edit page. We're going to go to effects library. We're going to go down to effects, grab a new fusion composition, just drag it on the timeline. Make sure you resize it just so you can see it. Once you're over top of it, go on to fusion. We have our media out and we're just going to start adding a few things. We'll need a background and we'll hit control space to bring up a triangle to start. Let's bring that in. Go ahead and plug that in and click on your background, drag it up to your screen, then you can see it. Click on your triangle so you can edit it. Grab a point, any point works. Figure out which one it is. Look over in your inspector as you drag it around. This is point three. I'm gonna change point three to point five, point five, and then I'll put it right in the center of my background. Then I'm just gonna drag these two right off to the side. I'm gonna drag them a pretty good amount just so I have space. I can get Control F to resize that and center it. Next, I'm going to bring in a transform. Click on your triangle, Control Space, bring in a transform. This is going to allow me to move stuff. You can see it blocked out stuff. It's because this triangle is in as a mask. I don't want that. Disconnect it, bring it in the background. That's what we want. Next up to this transform, I'm going to add in a duplicate. Bring that in. I'm going to make some copies. Go ahead and drag that up to the screen so you can see it. You want copies to be 18. We want them to be spaced around. I'm going to do 42. So I can see it. You can pick a different pattern if you want. 42 works pretty well for what I want. Next, we want to click on this triangle and we just want to move this out from the center. So move that center point out. You can either drag it over or you can just grab the X coordinate and bring it back. We want a little bit of staggering for our triangle. So go ahead and click on your duplicate again. We're going to change the size. We're going to go to 1.05. I'll give some different sizes for us. We also want a little bit of time delay between them, so we're gonna change this time offset to 1.5. So when we animate it, they won't all go at once. So now for animating it, we can click on our transform. What we wanna do is we wanna animate the size. So right click on the size, go to modify width, go down to shape, go to our modifiers. You can see that some of this is already out of where it should be. I'm gonna change this minimum to 0.7. That should fix that. I'll leave the other one at one. You can see these kind of roll around. We don't want that kind of smoothness. We want kind of a sharp cut. So take the smoothness all the way down. There we go, got little needles going. Next, we want to go back to tools and we will also want to add a shape modifier to the angle as well. So we get a little bit more motion. So modify width, go down to shake. Back to our modifiers, open the angle. and we want the minimum zero, we want the maximum at eight and bring down the smoothness again. So now we got our effect going. Next, we need to connect it to our media out. So we're going to need, this is going to be our foreground. We're going to need another background. Drop in a background, merge in, merge it to your media. Make that a little bit nicer. These are reverse, so I want to click on this merge. I'll hit Control T to swap them. Pull up your media out so we can see it. We need to change this background to transparent. So grab this alpha and just bring it down. Our little lines are still black, so I'm going to go to this background. I'm going to click on black change it to white. We have a nice effect going on there. If we want to add in a little bit of shadow, well, what you can do is just highlight these, highlight the triangle, transform and duplicate. It's a duplicate or duplicate? I don't know. Hit Control C and hit Control Shift V to paste an instance. Go ahead and add in another background. We're going to move that down. We're going to go ahead and merge that in. The second background, we're going to leave is black. The only thing that we're going to change that's going to be different between the two instances are the points on the triangle. So right click on them, de-instance, and let's real quick click on this merge, hit control T to swap them, and then we're going to click on this triangle again, and we're just going to move it slightly out of sync, one below it, and just bring it out just a little bit. So now you have this nice shadow effect going on with it. If it looks too fast, you can hit control space and add in a time speed. It was a little fast on mine, so I'm going to add in a time speed, go ahead over the line, hold shift while you do it, when you see that line, just drag and drop it, it'll drag it right in. Go up to our speed and hit 0.5. Now I'll be going at half speed and it'll look pretty nice. And there you go, that's a pretty good looking one. If you need to make adjustments, go just go back to this original triangle and grab your point and you can move it in some if you need to and just adjust it however you would like. All right, but we're not done. Let's do some other speed lines. Let's start a new fusion composition. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Make sure you're over it, go to fusion. Next, we're going to add in a fast noise. Let's do some other speed lines. 
fast noise. Want in a background, just plug that right in as a mask to the background. See what that looks like. Now for the fast noise, go ahead and click on your fast noise. For our noise settings, let's go ahead, make it 70 for the contrast, make it negative 20 for the brightness. Scale, we want to we want to uncheck this lock X and Y scale. We want to bring this X scale down, so make it 0.5. For our Y scale, we want to stretch this out, so we want to make it something big, like I don't know, 9,000. I had to do it. You know I had to do it, right? I'm just I'm just kidding. Make it 100. All right now we got these nice streaks there. If you don't like the color, you can always click on the background, change that from black to white. Go back to the fast noise. A few other things we want to change. Change our seethe to 0.5 doesn't really matter and you can really pick anything up. It just gives you a different um, view. I like 0.5, it works pretty well. Now to animate this, you're gonna change this X value, go to frame zero, keyframe it, go to your last frame, change it to something like a negative 20, depending on the direction that you want. So now if we play this through, we've got our speed lines. Now that's the base. If we wanna do something else like we did in the thumbnail, I will add in a rectangle, go ahead and merge that in. I'll add in a rectangle, I will add in another background, We'll go ahead and merge this together. Go ahead and make a mask for that. There we go, Control T, change that around. So go ahead and click on this rectangle, go ahead and stretch things out where you want them to. Go to this background, we can change it to something more interesting like a gradient. Let's change the color, let's do like orange. Let's add, click on it and add a few more locations. Add in maybe a purple. If you want to change how this gradient looks, you can change it here, or you can go over to this line here, and you can kind of change where the gradient goes, and move your lines up and down however you want. You can swap their positions. We have something kind of cool. Next up, we'll just drag and drop this basic background. We'll lower the alpha all the way down so it's just transparent. Go ahead and merge this in. A few other things we can do. We can move these off to the side. We can add in a drop shadow add in some of that you can add in a color give it a nice cool look and make it blue and then adding to this we can just add in a transform from there we can change the rotation so let's make it like 20 degrees go ahead and move it increase it however you need it to be maybe bring it maybe bring that size down go to your rectangle change where that's at and if we want we can just control c control v bring it over merge it in and then for the this one Let's go on the angle, 20 plus 180. That'll make it the opposite direction. Let's just bring it down. And then we can go on this background, we can change the colors to something else. Go with some blue, maybe make it the opposite, some blues and greens in there. And you have yourself a pretty awesome looking background. And there you go, Animate Speed Lines plus Ultra. Yes! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to one punch that like button and smash the bell. It's over 9,000!